Hi guys, today I want to talk about the differences between a uh, Anytone 5555N and an Anytone 6666. I've had a few people ask me the difference because uh, they've noticed that I have both of the radios in my collection. They're both 60 watt radios from the factory. Uh, they, they pretty much have all the same features. Really the only difference that I've noticed is the size. Um, there are a few differences, like this, the uh, the 55, the quad 5, I'm just going to call it quad 5. It has the 3 meters at once in there, so you have uh, SWR, you got your power output, and you have your signal strength. Uh, where the quad 6, when you key up the mic on the quad 6, let me grab the right mic for that. It's going to show, I'm going to give a whistle into that so you'll see it jump up. It just shows the output, but that one is, uh, you can change that. Go to indicator. See, I currently have it off, but you can set it so it shows you the SWR. Uh, it'll show you how much time you have until the timeout timer kicks in. Oh, we lost it. No, we'll go to menu. <laughs> I waited too long. We can show the DC uh, amount of the the voltage. Oh, wow, that kicks out quick. So I guess that that's it. We can show the timeout timer, DC voltage, or the SWR. And if we show SWR, now it comes across right there and still gives us our signal out our power out i know my swr is good so i don't need it to uh, have anything on there uh, quick easy the menus are great on these radios i mean you saw that you hold it until it comes up to that and it stays on whatever you left it on uh, unlike like the striker radio, that thing is a, a pain in the ass to go through the menu because if it times out like that, when you press menu, it goes back to the beginning, to whatever the start point is. This one will stay wherever you leave it. In the menu, we have mic gain. Uh, that, <laughs> nog, that's for uh, talk back. Oh, and I keep getting back, getting out of it. It jumps out of the menu pretty quick. Timeout timer. Uh, that I believe that's for the SWR protection. Yep. Uh, it's also that's for uh, voltage protection. Oops. Gonna turn it to get to the next item. SCM. Oh, automatic squelch. Uh, that's for setting the uh, the clarifier. You can have the clarifier off. Or receive if it's off the clarifier will not do anything if it's on receive it will only change receive transmit just transmit I leave it on receive and transmit they're locked together and we can change the colors that's one thing that the quad 6 has that the uh, quad 5 does not the quad 5 is locked on the orange there is there is no color options in that if we go to the menu on this, this is not the um, current version of the Quad 5. The current version of the Quad 5 has uh, weather channels and they added in an adjustable uh, noise filter, which this radio doesn't have it, but everything else is pretty much the same. I think that's all they changed. They may have put different finals in that new one also, uh, but I think that's about it. We can change the display from frequency to... Um, the channel number, the automatic squelch, and we get all the other, the protection things, the mic gain, the talk back, this, the SWR protection is on, and the same, same thing with this radio, you can change uh, the clarifier, it's one thing President should have done with the Lincoln too, they should have done the same thing, they should have had it so that you can change how that Clarifier X. Again, I leave it on receive and transmit, lock them together. And we're back to the frequency or channel number display. The Some other things that are different. Uh, 
the Echo is super easy to get to on the Quad 5. The Quad 6, you got to go through the menu. For the Quad 5, you just hold the band button for a second, and you see Echo popped on right there. Hold it again, and it goes away. Both of these radios to adjust the Echo for the uh, the time and the... Uh, Oh, the, I guess it would be reverb, maybe. Uh, the, the adjustments are inside of the radios. So they're, they're set from the factory, and then you just adjust them yourself. I don't personally use Echo, so I don't even bother with it. Uh, to be honest, I don't even remember how to get to the Echo on this one. I think it's in here when we have the high cut in here. Noise blank. Uh, yeah, there's the Echo. There's two menus on that radio. One you hold the knob, one you hold the, the menu button. This one doesn't do that, does it? Nope, it'll just let me hold that button in forever. I didn't think there was a second menu on that one. <laughs> There's a lot more in the main menu on this this radio than there is on that one. Uh, I don't know why they set it into two different menus on that one, but that's what they did. The knobs, I like the knobs a lot better on the Quad 5. The Quad 5, you can just... You can move the, the volume with your finger. This, well, you can that one too. But this one, I always find myself trying to grab for that little tiny end. It's just, it's too small. Noise level on receive. As you see, they're newer radios. They're noisy. Uh, both of them are about the same but right now. It's during the day right now, and there is a DX coming in. So we have uh, atmospheric noise. But look at them. They're both around 7 dB of noise. Uh, for that, I'll usually just back the RF gain down. Back the RF gain down, and it cuts back a lot of that, that hash noise, the, the static. But most of the time, I really don't care. Leave, <laughs> leave it showing the high noise level. It is what it is. It's a newer radio. It's not like an old Washington or Cobra 2000 that filters out all that noise. These, well... The filtering could have been a little bit better in these, but the audio that comes in when, when you're receiving stations is really, really good on these radios. Let's see if this... This one's on just a, a little antenna that's up in my attic. Uh, you guys have probably know that antenna, the 39-inch uh, the tram antenna. Uh, I got that up in my attic. This one would probably hit, hear some traffic because this one's hooked up to my... My other tram antenna, the 18-footer that's outside. They do have really good receivers. Both of these radios are about equal when it comes to receive. I, they said, the, uh, I was about to jump off on the transmit. I'm talking about receive. The receive quality is good on these. They don't have a, uh, a tinny sound. The, the receiver is, is nice. Well, that guy's way off frequency, but... That's the uh, the flat earth guy thinks the earth is flat. But uh, I like the receiver on both of these radios. Uh, I've had a lot of other radios, even a Grant, even at the Uniden Grant. Some of them, they, the sound that goes to the speaker is a little tinny. I know you can change it. You can run it through a mixer. You can run it through a another uh, amplified speaker setup and change the tone of it. But these just have a, a natural sound that's... it's. They sound like a ham radio, to be honest. They don't sound like a CB. Uh, the <laughs> I hate to keep putting the Lincoln down, but I, I just keep I have to. The Lincoln is a uh, it's a CB radio disguised as a ham radio. These here these are ham radios that can do CB. Uh, the, the the receiver quality is way better on these. All right, let's talk a little about transmit. Transmit's the same. Like I told you earlier, they're both sixty watt radios. Uh, the Quad 6 might be able to be uh, pushed a little further than the Quad 5, but from the factory, they're both 60-watt uh, radios on sideband. The Quad 5 puts out more power on AM from the factory than the Quad 6 does, but the Quad 6 can be adjusted and get the same uh, power output as the Quad 5. The microphones that they come with, they're both they're the, they're the same microphones. Can we see them both? They're the same mics. They both have the up-down buttons on the top of them. And the only difference with the mics, 
the quad five i like the microphone jack a lot better i mean the quad six microphone jack is better than the quad five the quad five has the uh, the rj45 which i mean it's it's not a bad connector but you have to use a an adapter or get the tool to uh put the wires onto those ends if you want to change the microphone uh, I have an adapter that I use to uh, convert this to a, a standard four-pin Cobra-style mic connector. I also use a mic adapter on this radio, which if you saw a couple of videos ago, I did a microphone testing to find out what mics I like on that radio. And this one is a six-pin, but it's the screw-on kind. I don't have it tight. because I uh, The stock mic is connected right now, but that's not what I use with it. This I also have an adapter that I that I made up that goes from six pin to a standard four pin Cobra. Most of my microphones are all wired for four pin Cobra, so I mean I could wire some for the six pin, but why bother? Leave them on the four pin and just make an adapter for the radio. I already have to use an adapter on this radio anyway, so might as well have one for that one. Oh, let's see what else did we leave off on. Well, another thing that you notice is the size. There's a size difference. The Quad 6 is a smaller radio. Uh, it's hard to tell in this shot, but it's uh, it's shorter too. It's not as tall. Uh, it's only a little bit shorter. Just a little bit. Uh, but it is quite a bit narrower. It's not as wide. If we push that all the way over, you can see just how much wider the Quad 5 is. That's a green thing underneath is a, a felt pad, just so I don't scratch the radios. The Quad 5 has a few scratches on it already because I've been using that one out in my garage. But the Quad 6 is brandy new and I don't want to put any scratches in it. <laughs> that is my first, first ever brand new radio. My son bought that for me for Christmas. Alright, I guess that's about it. I don't really know of any other differences to show you. Uh, the depth on the radios isn't much different. As you can see, the, the quad six is isn't as deep. Oh, my block of wood is coming out of there. Uh, they both have the heat sinks on the back. Oh, look at that! There's a few nicks in that heat sink. Oh, whoops! <laughs> right, so look, I even put the rubber protector on. The uh, the quad six belongs on this bracket here on my desk, but I took it off of there to do the video. I guess that's about it. I guess that covers all the differences. Bouncing you all over the place here. Both great radios. I've had the Quad 5 oh, for a couple of years now. Uh, and I have, I have grown to love that radio. Like I said, the noise level is a little high. But most of the time, if there aren't people talking, I don't have the radio on anyway. Uh, I'll turn it back on now and then and see if anybody's come on and... If they have, well, then I'll leave it on. Uh, or, like I said, just back the RF gain down. Because backing that down, it won't cut out the signals. I mean, as long as you don't go too far. But it will cut out a lot of the hiss. Does the Quad 5 have a transmit light? It does not. Oh, I was pressing the Quad 6. You guys probably saw that. <laughs> on the screen <laughs> quad six is going into transmit the microphones are the same i, I got confused <laughs> now we just get the the tx to replace the 5555n and it gives us swr oh look at that i think the swr might be a little off on that antenna let's go to AM. Let's see what that SWR is telling us. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little high. One point six. It's just a test antenna. I only use that antenna. I use it basically like a dummy load. It'll handle. Uh, what does it handle? Two hundred watts, three hundred watts, something like that. But it doesn't get out worth a damn uh, a mile away, and you can't hear it anymore because it's in my attic. So it is my dummy load, but. I'm going to have to go up in the attic, take a look around. Something might have fallen up, up there. You know, a lot of stuff stored up there, and something might be leaning against that antenna. Because I think that SWR was a lot better than that. 
Let's go, let's check it up higher. Make sure I got the right microphone. How high it is. Oh, it wants me to go way up. <laughs> the antenna seems to be tuned for 10 meter band. Yep, look at that. 1.28, just on the edge of 11 and 10. Oh well, we're not here to talk about antennas today. Antennas will be soon, soon, I promise. I sp promise, there's an antenna project coming. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I need to tune that antenna or make sure nothing's leaning against it, because it seems to be off. That one on the other hand, wait a minute. Oh, where are we? Here we are, menu. And we want to find indicator. And let's put that on AM. Grab the right microphone. That one's showing one. Well, actually, you know why? Wait a minute. Hold on. We'll make that better. It's happier when running through the amplifier. And I just realized I was keying up on 38. It's it's much happier when I have my amplifier on. <laughs> oh, let me let me loosen you up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Without the box on, I was getting a 1.3. With it on, I'm getting 1.1, 1.2. But this antenna is tuned for higher up on the band. This one, watch. If we go up here. Oh, I'm doing a wrong radio again. Let's take that one and go up there. Say 1.1. Oh, when I was overdriving my amp. Oh, I had the radio on sideband setting. Well, that was one other thing. They both have the um, the RF power output adjustable. The Quad 5 doesn't seem to work as well as the Quad 6. This will really, this will stop it from peaking too high. Uh, where I keep it set, it peaks at about 35 watts. Um, I was just sending oh, <laughs> about 7 watts AM dead key into my amplifier. Shame on me. One of these days, that box is going to go poof. <laughs> the, uh, the Quad 5, it will still peak at 50 watts, even if I turn this all the way down. Uh, peak at, at, yeah, that, that one I currently have it set, so its peak is at 50 the uh, amp that I have this usually have this radio connected to, I can put in uh, a 50 watt peak into that amplifier. So I set it inside so that peaks at 50. All right, guys, I guess that's about it. That covers the uh, the differences between the two radios. There's not much difference other than the size. Uh, the main things of the size, you can change the, the color of the display on the Quad 6. You can't on the 5. Uh, the current model of the Quad 5 has the weather channels and that really cool noise filter, the adjustable noise filter built in. Uh, other than that, I don't, don't really see much of a difference. And I've been running this one since Christmas time, and I like them both the same. This one stays in here in the house, it stays on my desk, and this one I run out in my garage. This one gets run on my two-element Yagi, and that one's on my half-wave ground plane. All right, guys, I guess that's it. That'll cover the differences between these two radios. I hope the video helped you, and I'll see you next time.